Okay, I'm currently walking into the entrance of the Long Island Pen Show. It's really cold and windy out here, so I'll film, film more when we get inside. Oh, yeah, I hate, I hate it. But I'm retired, so I picked my spot. There we go. It's a, um, it's a pilot matte black vanishing point. It's, it's one of the only pens that... ...a retractable nib. There's only two other companies that make that. And uh, it has an 18 karat gold nib. And it's a black nib. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a Parker Vacumatic. I have this pen. That's an old one. It's a Mont Blanc, an old one. Tell me what all it does. Um, screwdriver, level, and measuring. Stylus? That's what this is, isn't it? Yes. And then obviously writing. And then screwdriver. <laughs> and look at this. Level. Whoa. And then measure. Because it's got it's got inches, it's got centimeters, it's got millimeters. And I don't know what that is. Smile. Yeah, you gotta be careful because you get in the naval uh That's a wherever. They've been restored. Those are eight dollars too. I marked those three down. That's a uh, yes. demonstrator. Yeah, roll balls in here. Uh, these are actually magnetic. They run a Schmidt refill. No fail. That's with turquoise, maple burl. Again, you twist it. It's with C603 brass, real brass, solid brass, build and everything. And then you got a bunch of other different types. This is stone right here, white with gold stone. Roller ball. Runs the Schmidt brand refills. And then over here you have some click mechanisms, all metal click mechanisms, stainless solid, stainless steel, no plastic in this pack, no fail click mechanism. Same thing with same thing with these as well as these. And these are twist pens, call cigar pens. They got a little size. Everything made to write right out of the box. I'm Alex Tamayo. Uh, live in the community, Glenhead, New York. I've been doing this in seventh grade. I'm now a senior in high school. Tamayo Designs. It's uh, it's a Waterman pen with an 18 karat gold nib, and has a squeeze converter. The plate uh, has a cool effect to it. Design so that no matter where you put it on, the spline to the body and the spline to the cap always line up perfect. Because it's got a hook, not a screw. You want to push in a hair and twist. There's, it's a 18 karat gold nib. And it's not a twist. It's not a twist to put on. It hooks into those little grooves there. Yeah. I have two others in that series. That's the original Divine for Fortune. This is Brian Goulet's favorite pen. It's a uh, Visconti Homo Sapien Starlight. And then this is a well. real man's pen. Look, I'm level on the level. <laughs> Everything in the Aurora is made in house. It's just black nail. used to be part of Michel Cushon and then he stood off. 18 karat gold. This is the pilot vanishing point broad nib. Another one. This is the president. No, no, no. Pilot does a different way of pushing it to where it pushes it straight, to where the nib always comes out the same way. You got the. Oh, yeah. So. Put a whole new pack. I. So I used to drill them out. Yeah. And I've seen it online. 
That's a unhealthy, shape. does it? Thank you. Okay. Now for that hat. Hi. It's dope. No. Yee. Hi, this is a Waterman pen, which is really old because it has a lever filler, and when you bring it up, it pushes down on a sack, which squeezes out the air, and then when you let it go, it sucks in the air, or if it's in a bottle of ink, it sucks up the ink. Bam. It's a nib on a chain. It's like a nib necklace. It's dope. There in August. We used to live in Welcome I work to with someone. A really cool pen that's shaped like a bullet. It is a bullet. It is a bullet. Yeah. Hi, my name is Ira Fisher of Fisher with Designs. And as you can see here, all these pens are handcrafted. One of a kind, one at a time. This pen writes a medium line without too much pressure, but fairly easily goes to the pressure. Yeah, even a little bit more. There you go. You might have to dip it again. <laughs> yeah, so it's smoothed out so that the pen doesn't get damaged. Yeah, absolutely. And um, if you wanted to do a uh, story, let me know. But Beautiful work. Alright, what is it? It's the Lamy Dialogue 3. Retractable fountain pen. There's only three companies that make a retractable fountain pen. There's Lamy with the Dialogue 3, Pilot with the Vanishing Point, and Mont Blanc with the James Dean collection. What it is? It's a... Oh, I've seen this pen before. It's a Pilot... I don't know. <laughs> Smells good. Smell that? Well, I put some orange oil on it to make them happy. <laughs> this group for a bunch of pens from the fountain, the fountain pen hospital. This is the world's biggest pen cap. <laughs> Universal converter type ink system. You know that because you unscrewed them as you should. Just pen repair. <laughs> I got a Rhodia notebook. It's the best paper you can get. It's Rhodia. Uh, I highly recommend it, even though I don't think I've ever like used it. Uh, <laughs> Brian Glass is good, so it must be good. Um, a pen drawer. 
Okay. Like a more expensive wooden version of what Brian Goulet has. And it's uh, it's dope. This is at Toys from the Attic. And this is Rena. Got a uh, demonstrator pen, and which is a piston filler. The Wing Sun 3008. Yeah. And I got a lever filling 14 karat gold flex nib pen. Okay, my memory is very full, so I have to do this fast. I got a Rodeo notebook, a demonstrator piston filling pen, a old looking pen. It's a lever filler and it's a 14 karat gold plated flex nib. I have a new channel out. Go watch that. It's Dylan Lanham Remixed. It's one of my featured channels. Go look at that. Uh, there's some exclusive songs on that you only find on that channel and you can't find on my channel. So yeah, go subscribe and outro. Bye. Bye.